Okay, so this lesson is on two-dimensional figures. That means like flat shapes. Three-dimensional figures would be like a cylinder or a rectangular prism, um, that kind of thing. But two-dimensional figures is just like triangles, circles, squares, flat shapes. Um, we're specifically working with perimeter and area. Remember, perimeter is the distance around a shape, distance around a shape. So if you were like fencing a yard, the fence would be the perimeter. The length of fence you would need is the perimeter. Or area is the space inside of a shape. So if you were like putting grass in your yard, the area would be um, the amount of square footage of grass that you would need for your yard. Okay, so here it says complete the table with the formulas for perimeter, circumference, and area. Um, we're going to start with the formulas for area, and a lot of this should be review. The area of a triangle is one-half base times height, and that's not on the reference sheet, so it's something that you need to have memorized. Area of a triangle is one-half base times height. Um, on a triangle, this would be the base, and then the height is perpendicular to the base, to that top corner. Then the area of a square is just length times width. And for a square, those two numbers are gonna be the same value. It'll just be multiply those two numbers to find the area. And for a rectangle, that should be pretty much review. Area of a rectangle is length times width. Um, so you just multiply the length and the width, and you can find the area. And then area of a circle is what we worked with yesterday. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Okay, and it also says to write the formulas for perimeter. Um, perimeter is just the distance around the shape. So for perimeter, it's just you add up all the sides and that's the equation of all the side lengths and that will give you perimeter. But like, what about a circle? Like it doesn't really have side lengths. Um, for a circle, the perimeter we actually call circumference so write down circumference, circumference. Circumference. Circumference is essentially the perimeter of a circle. So it's the distance around a circle. Distance around a circle. So if you have a circle, it's the length around the circle. And the equation for circumference, which is nice, is on the reference sheet. Um, circle C is either 2 pi r or pi times diameter. Um, two times the radius would actually be the diameter, so it's essentially the version of the same thing. Circumference equals pi times diameter. And then remember, radius is halfway across the circle. Let's see if I should add this here. Okay. Um, radius is halfway across the circle. So that would be R equals radius. And then diameter. Let's put it here. Running out of room. Okay, I'll put it right here. Draw a circle. Diameter goes all the way across to the center. So this would be D diameter. So if you're given radius, but you need diameter for this equation, you can just multiply it by two. 
Or if you're given diameter and you need radius for area, you could just divide by two to get it halfway. Okay, that is all the need to know. Now we're gonna go into the practice here. So it says, find the perimeter or circumference of each figure round to the nearest tent. Um, so perimeter is distance around the shape. You add up all the side lengths. So for number four, we're just going to add up all these side lengths. We're going to go 18 plus 20 plus 20 plus 40. So 18 plus 20 plus 20 plus 40. So you can add these numbers in any order. 18 plus 20 would be 38. 20 plus 40 is 60. 38 plus 60 would be 98 yards. Okay, the next one, number five, same idea. To find the perimeter of the shape, we're going to add up all these sides. So 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2. So we got 10 plus 10, 20 meters. And it's not squared or anything because perimeter is just the length around. Okay, and then for a circle, um, we can't add up side lengths, so we're going to find the circumference, which is the distance around it. So circumference is pi times diameter. They show us that the radius is 11, um, so diameter all the way across would then be 22. So I just times by 2 to get 22. So circumference equals pi times 22. And then in the calculator, usually they tell you whether to use 3.14 or pi. They didn't tell us here, so we'll just take this opportunity to learn how to use the pi button on here. Um, the pi button's right here, so I'm just going to do pi times 22, and it gives me an answer, and then I'll just round it. So I just took the pi button times 22, and 69.12 is what I'll take. 69.12. And meters, that's it. Okay, then the next section, it wants to know the area of each figure. Um, so you have to identify the shape and determine which equation you're going to use. This is a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. So area equals 5 times 12, length times width, area equals 60 meters squared. And which side you identify as length and width doesn't matter because you're multiplying them. It, the order doesn't matter. Okay, and then number 8, area of a circle, we practiced that yesterday. The equation is pi r squared. Um, we'll use 3.14 for pi. Usually it tells you, it doesn't tell you here, so. I'm going to go ahead and solve it. Remember to follow order of operations, so 7 times 7 is 49. And then area equals 153.86 centimeters squared. Okay, number nine shows a triangle. The equation for area of a triangle is one half base times height. For this triangle that they show here, this would be the base and this would be the height. So area equals one half, the base is 16, the height is 14. There's different ways you can multiply this. Um, I'm just going to use the 
calculator, I'll use that fraction button that's right here. So one half times 16 times 14 is 112. 112 feet squared. Okay, so the bottom section right here, so this is a lot of review. You definitely need these skills. Um, number 10 is more like level three on the EOC. What would that look like? Um, and that's number 10. So it says find the perimeter of an area of triangle ABC with these vertices, um, and then they give you the coordinate plane. So we're gonna start by graphing the points just to see what the shape is. And A is at negative one, two, label that A. B is at 3, 6, and C is at 3, negative 2. The smaller the points, actually, the better. It'll make your um, shape more accurate. And then I'm just connecting dots to make this shape. Okay, so there's my triangle. It says find perimeter and area. So I'm gonna find perimeter and area. Okay, um, looking at this shape, it is actually going to be easier to find area. Um, so I'm gonna do that step first. Area of a triangle, so you see it's a triangle, is one half base times height. Um, and what I noticed for this triangle is if I use this as a base, I can just count units. And then I would use this as a height and I can count the units. So base right here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. So base is eight units. And then the height here is four units. Area equals one half, base is eight, height is four. You can multiply these numbers in any order, so half of 8 would be 4, and then bring down that last 4, area equals 16 units squared. So there's the area. Then perimeter, I need to... Yes, I don't want to go too fast. Perimeter, I need to add up the lengths of the sides. I have one of the sides is eight units, but I don't know what these two sides the lengths are. And since they're on a diagonal, I can't just count the units. So I actually need to solve for that length. Um, so I'm gonna sketch out a right triangle and then use Pythagorean theorem to find that length. What's nice about this problem is the triangle over here on the other side is the same dimension. So this is isosceles, like these two sides are the same length. And once I find the length of one, I'll also have the length of the other. So to find this length, um, I just look at the dimensions here. There's four units by four units. And I'll use Pythagorean theorem to find that length. So four squared plus four squared equals C squared. I actually did this the same dimensions in the bell work. Coincidentally, I get 32 equals C squared. Square root of both sides and C equals 5.66. So that is the length of this, 5.66, which is also the length of this one. So then to find perimeter, I add this plus this plus this. So 5.66 plus 5.66 plus 8. Add those three numbers and it comes out to 19.32 units. Okay, um, so now it's time to do your homework. Go ahead and grab a laptop, get logged in, and work on the homework. If you have questions, let me know. 
Yes. Um, I can get your pin. Do you need your pin? No, it says that my account is yeah, I can just to figure that out because it should be fine. Especially like it usually updates at midnight, so it should have updated last night. I don't know. Um, well, why don't you go ahead and, oh, you can't get in the computer at all. Um, I need to change a little bit. Um, sure. Just step out if you can. Me, just. Okay. Um, Maybe. no, I got you. Okay. Let's see. Um, what can I do? Thank you. Time, um, can you step out and do that? Because people just think you're like, yeah. She asked you, like, like yes. Anyways. Um, do you have the front page of your notes filled in? Okay, why don't you use the time to get that done? Thanks. Yeah. Yes. Yes, uh, Um. Yes, one second. I'll pass it up to you. Saved. Oh, I didn't realize I was still recording. <laughs> 